I'm a runner. I always have been, and most likely always will be. From the age of 11, actually, I joined my middle school's track team, and I have been consistently running for the last 12 years leading up to this point. But after a long time of intense training on my legs and cardiovascular system, it has taken a toll on my lower half of my body. Here's a brief list of my injury history. When I was 14, I had runner's knee. When I was 15, I had an avulsion fracture on the right side of my pelvis. When I was 16, I had an avulsion fracture on the left side of my pelvis. When I was 17, I had IT band syndrome. When I was 18, I had SI joint dysfunction. When I was 18, I also had a grade 2 ankle sprain. When I was 20, I had Achilles tendonitis. When I was 20, I had another grade 2 ankle sprain. When I was 21, I had Achilles tendonitis again, as well as plantar fasciitis. When I was 22, I had a hernia injury. And when I was 23, I've had a heel bursitis and some hip pain just from getting old. To give all of these areas a break, I wanted to do a physical challenge that improved my upper body strength that has been pretty neglected in my time as a runner. While I actually played football for a bit in high school, I always have been a pretty skinny guy by all accounts, except for cross country guy standards. And for that reason, I decided to get jacked for 30 days. No, I, I did push-ups. I did like 100 push-ups a day for 30 days. You know what's crazy about all this? I actually had to do like some preparation for this challenge so that it would go okay. Okay, so the downside to having a hernia surgery is that you can't pretty much lift at all for like a year. So my upper body sucks. I'll get there, ladies and gents. You know what's pretty great about doing a bunch of push-ups? Well, let me tell you. It's like, it's one of those things where you can just do things easier. You can have a conversation with someone in a weird circumstance. Never before in my life would I have been able to casually have a conversation with someone while having push-ups. Also, I'm seeing a little bit of a, a little bit of a little arm action here. Not too bad. But yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I'm such a clown. Let's be honest though, who doesn't like adding on some muscle to their body? I noticed slowly but surely while doing this challenge that I actually was gaining muscle mass, which has just been weird to say the least. Funny enough, the first place I noticed it was when I was showering and reached over my shoulder and felt muscle firmness and pushback rather than there being nothing there because I never work out my chest. A 2007 study from PubMed.gov found that males who did strength slash resistance training three days a week for four weeks were linked to increases in T levels right after a workout and over time. I had a hernia last year which required surgery and essentially got rid of all of my weightlifting and resistance exercise for over a year so that nothing bad would occur and I wouldn't re-trigger the injury. By missing out on weightlifting and resistance training in the last year, I definitely noticed a change in my ability to hit top end speed while running and my energy levels were overall lower on a daily basis. So what's crazy is I actually have more energy on a daily basis than I ever have before and there are a lot of different variables in this. I know I don't run as much, I know that I'm doing this resistance training on a consistent basis, I know I'm intermittent fasting, I know I'm getting good sleep, all of these things factor in. However, when I started doing the resistance training, as in the push-up challenge, I did notice a difference in my confidence levels and my just day-to-day -day ability to get through things and power through just in general. I actually had a bit of a breakout regarding my acne for the first time in a long time. And, and I didn't have any bad eating habits in that month or have any bad eating habits in general. But after the 30 day challenge was up, I kept doing it. And what I noticed was I kept having, like I, I had this consistent breakout occur before I like implemented an actual skincare routine and kind of got it under control. And part of my theory is because I just spiked my testosterone by working out a bunch of resistance exercise after not oh, for over a year. I mean, that's my theory. I, I, I'm not a doctor or anything, but that could be the case. Now, while that may sound like a negative, I think it's a positive because that means I had a spike in testosterone. And generally speaking, at least for me, that, that's a good thing. When I had the hernia surgery last year, I basically told myself for that year that I couldn't do anything. Post-surgery, I pretty much avoided lifting anything heavy, and then from there on out, I just avoided most lifts, core workouts, and resistance exercises. Overcoming the hump to mentally prepare for this and doing a bunch of knee push-ups leading to the challenge was kind of embarrassing to myself, but I had to do what I had to do in order to make this challenge work. So another hard part of the mental aspect of this challenge was the fact that I actually never have worked out for every day for a month before. And that's because 
I always had a training cycle where every three weeks I'd get the day off or uh, actually in college, my coach had us take one day a week off and I just never experienced working out every single day. And I do that now versus before, which is odd considering I'm not a student athlete anymore. However, I will say just training my brain to be like, no, it's fine that you're working out every day. It's just different. I, I think that while in some circumstances, maybe it's not the best. I think you never get that proper level of recovery. However, for me, this level of pushups is not insanely high. It's just more about like the benefit of consistently working out. And that's just been weird for the last 30 days as well as since I've finished it. And another thing was I just got sore. I mean, I don't work my upper body as much. I am not as mentally strong regarding upper body workouts as I am with lower body stuff and running. I mean, I ran at a solid level, I think, in my career because I just genuinely was able to, to deal with the pain uh, as well as had some decent leg speed in comparison to the general population. However, I am not nearly as good when it comes to overcoming the, you know, the old push up or like bicep. I just, I, my upper body strength, not as good. My upper body mental fortitude, not as good. And a quote that really helps me here comes from the philosopher king, Marcus Aurelius himself. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength, Marcus Aurelius. So basically when I got to the inevitable point during this challenge around day 20, where I experienced some pretty massive soreness in my chest, I was like, all right, if it's possible to be handled, I know that I can do it by just focusing on my mental aspect and just thinking to myself, okay, I can control what I'm thinking. I control the fact that I'm getting through this and I can't control the fact that my body's sore, but it's all right, I'm gonna get through it. Thank you, Marcus Aurelius. So the verdict, I do this every day still and I really like it. I think the last few 30 day challenges I've been doing, I've just been, I've been on a roll. Like the intermittent fasting, kept doing it. This one, kept doing it. Kid did kind of both of these at the same time. Yoga, that's coming up next. You'll be excited for that one. But I just, I think it's going good. Like 30 day challenges, good work. I did some, I did some decent planning. I'm not gonna ever quit coffee again, by the way, cause I'm still mad at myself for making myself do that. Due to this challenge, I actually have changed up my workout routine to be pretty minimalist. Outside of daily push-ups, I do a few minutes of planks every day, 100 bicep curls, and a short run a few days a week. While this may not seem like anything crazy, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm building small habits that will eventually lead to some pretty large results. So I just wanted to say, I cannot believe how much this channel has grown in the last few months. Like I, I'm just right now and thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. For everyone that just randomly showed up, on the channel in the past few months, I, it's something. Like I, I hit the dip pretty hard and I, I was making a lot of content and I knew I was getting better, but things weren't weren't really showcasing for me, but but now it's it's coming to fruition and and I, and I know metrics don't matter, but as someone who puts, put, has been putting a lot of work into this for a long time, just thank you guys. This was a fun 30 day challenge. You're gonna be seeing some Zen yoga stuff with me and Chance in the next month. Huh. The next challenge is going to have two people in it? Who would have thought? What? With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out my other 30-day challenges right there, and I will see you guys in the next one.